Tammy says, though, she says, I've heard some conservative commentators who, although they like President Trump, seem to think if he is the nominee, he will not win. Why do you think they say this? Oh, because they're yeah, they're again, they're they're still operating with the old maps. They're still operating in an old world. Um, that's the way that's the world of, you know, Hannity and Levin and uh, Steve Dace is is operating with this uh, uh, from the from Blaze. Uh, there's 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 no way around this. I mean, uh, Trump is Trump is tapping into uh, as as is Le Pen in, in France and the Vox Party in, in Spain and Maloney and in Italy, we just saw the massive victory for the, the collapse of the left in Greece. Uh, he's tapping into the winds of change that are happening as we're moving from modern to postmodern. So we're moving to a to a you know a unipolar world to a multipolar world to a to one size fits all political and economic liberal system to a multiplicity. Of, of breaking up into nation, culture, custom, tradition, region, and the tribal, you know, you name it. We're, so we're just, we're, we're going into a very, very different world. And they still think it's 2012. They still, they're still worried about the suburban mom, the white suburban mom. And uh, even Mike, uh, Mike Cernovich was say, said this, Mike Cernovich, uh, after the midterm said, there's no way Trump can win again. Uh, let's just admit Trump won because Hillary was a bad candidate. Yeah, but there's no way he can win now. Mike Cernovich just tweeted out, I was wrong. Tr Trump is going to crush this. I mean, if you take poll after poll after poll, what we have now is an incredible swing towards Trump. Uh, so you've got the YouGov poll that came out. Um, so we've got these studies now where like YouGov, had Trump losing by 10 points on average in 2020. Today, he's leading Biden by three in YouGov. So that's a 13-point swing towards Trump, right? Keep in mind, that's the same methodology, right? YouGov, it's, it's not like YouGov said, oh, we're going to use one methodology in 2020. Let's use a different one in 2024. They're using the same methodology. They concluded Biden would win by 10 in 2020. Now they're concluding Trump would win by three. Right. Keep in mind, Biden, Biden did not win by 10 in, in 2020. He didn't win. We all know they cheated there. But regardless, Harvard Harris has an even larger one. They have a 14 point swing. Trump was supposed to lose by eight in 2020. They have him now winning by six. Fox shows a 10 point swing to Trump. ABC shows a 15 point swing to Trump. Quinnipiac shows a nine point swing to Trump. Um, uh, uh, CNBC has a 10 point swing. CNN, 14 points. New York Times, 11 point swing. All these polls are showing massive double digit swings from where they had Trump in 2020 to where they have him today. And what, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? You're seeing uh, black voters breaking to, uh, to Trump in a 30-point swing. Latino voters, 30-point swing. Millennials, 25-point swing. Independents, 20-point swing. The economy and the indictments are combining to kill Biden and show Trump to be the true champion of the people. Look, I mean, the single major issue that Biden is going to have to face personally beside his own absurdities is the R word. It's it's a recession. Right. And uh, many believe we're already in one. Uh, but most economists are predicting with about a 70, 80 percent probability we will be in a major recession within the next year. First, gang, I got to tell you, I was utterly shocked when I was recently shown just how easy it is to access the deed to my house and not just access it, but change it. I mean, if you don't know, the deed to your home is the only document that proves you own it. But the problem is, is that the deeds to all our homes are now online and criminals are free to find our deeds, forge our signatures, refile as the new owner of our homes, take out tons of loans using our home's equity, and then stick us with the debt. And by the way, if you think homeowners insurance is going to bail you out, you got another thing coming. But that's where our good friends over at Home Title Lock come in. Gang, they're absolutely amazing. Home Title Lock gives you the peace of mind 
that the deed to your home is absolutely and completely protected. Click on that link below right now and use promo code Turley Talks. Then all you have to do is enter your address for your no obligation home title scan to see if you've already been a victim of deed theft. I mean, that's a hundred dollar value, absolutely and totally free if you use my promo code Turley Talks. Gang, don't wait for the worst to happen only to regret that you didn't do something about it when you could have. Click on that link below right now and secure your home today. And the bank failures, of course, over the last few months are just simply underscoring that. Now, simply put, no Democrat president since FDR, no president, period, since Calvin Coolidge, a century ago, has secured re-election if a recession has occurred in within the two years before the election, right? It's a key, key indicator. No president in the last hundred years has been successfully reelected if a recession occurred within the last two years before uh, his last two years in office. So this is why the Biden White House is panicking. This is why they're freaking out. Now they've got Bobby Kennedy to deal with on top of it all. So Trump is surging, right, because the economy sucks. Everyone feels it. Uh, He's surging. And you think he's surging now. Just wait when you have a full blown recession. And he and he's surging because rural voters, millennials, Gen Zers, blacks, Latinos are all moving in the again, not the Republican camp. This doesn't translate into a generic ballot. So we have some of these same polls that show Trump with a really significant lead over Biden. When you look at the same polls, then give the generic choice. Are you voting Democrat or Republican in your congressional district? The Democrats winning by two, two or three points. So it doesn't trend. The Republicans have yet to convince the populist voter that they are trustworthy. But Trump has. Trump has convinced that. And I think we're see you. You ain't seen nothing yet. And I think he can win outside the margin of fraud, which is what two to three points, if I recall, margin of fraud. And if that's the case, he should be able to clean Biden's claw. He w- first Republican to win over uh, 300 electoral votes in 30 years in 2016, and he won l- legit more votes than any incumbent in history. He is an incredibly formidable candidate. And I think they're just, they're believing, um, they're believing the press of the donor class that still lives in the 1990s, or they still live as if 2012 is, is still operative. Conservatives listening to this sound optimistic. I'm reading the chat right now. This sounds really, really great. But as you mentioned, fraud happened last time. How can we confirm that this is going to happen, even if there's not a free and fair election? Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's going to have to be such a trouncing that it goes beyond the margin of fraud. So within two, three points, you can create fraud. That's exactly what happened to Carrie Lake, right? Within a couple of points, when they can they can they can find the extra votes they need without turning too many heads um, uh, to uh, to get their uh, to win. But if you're win by five points, six, seven points, there's nothing they can do. It, it's it's a Reagan landslide. There's nothing they can do. So we do the way to conquer fraud is to come out in mass. Number one, and then number two, have the best ballot harvesting strategy imaginable. Again, that's what's worked in Southern California, where Republicans have been able to win in districts that are plus four Democrat Republican, because they what they basically do is they use conservative evangelical churches as ballot harvesting centers. And they've been able to more or less, you know, significantly, significantly increase uh, their votes that way. So that's what we're going to have to do. There's no way around that. There's no way around that. Whoever's the nominee, i.e. Trump, He's going to have to make sure that we have a ground game that is going to deal with Democrats, um, uh, all, all their shenanigans, not just the fraud. Yeah, if you're concerned about this, I highly would recommend you go out right now, not Mm -hmm. October of 2024, right now, figure out how you can play a role in helping uh, 
with this problem. There's so yeah. many opportunities. So um, th there's several groups as well. We can put them in the chat. Yeah, we're, and we'll be doing that throughout the year yeah. le leading up. Fraud will be one. I mean, now that YouTube allows us to talk about it. Thank you, YouTube. Fraud will be one of the major uh, um, focuses and, and, and countering fraud will be one of the major focuses of our channel. No question about that. 